And there are lots of ways an engineer can make a difference, one of which is by being entrepreneurial. And this is the best thing we do in the faculty, in, of course, one of the best faculties of engineering in the country. It's the best thing we do to make young entrepreneurs. I'm Mick Thornton from Barnsley. I've come to try and help people with dis disabilities for the students to design products to help disabled people and also help people in general life with whatever products they can produce. Hi, my name is Pablo and uh, well, we're here in the business planning presentation. Our product is called the Zero Drop, and the Zero Drop is a device that reduces the risk of spillage uh, when you're carrying around liquids, ma mainly uh, hot liquids like soup or coffee. My name's Nick, I'm from Livy's, um, and our product is basically, it's a very simple product. It's a lever that allows people uh, with arthritis or other difficulties uh, involving the hand uh, to open the window hand. We designed a product that enables users crutches, grab things from, from lower surfaces. It's actually a kind of crutch, but it's designed specifically to be user friendly as well as environment friendly as well. Our product is an innovative uh, shelf, pull down shelf mechanism and it's designed for the masses. It, the objective is to ease access and storage of household ad items for disabled and the elderly people. I got more in touch with people with disabilities. I got to, you know, talk to them, see what life is like for them, you know, talk about their difficulties and, you know, it, it got me thinking. A project like this is really special. It allows students to um, look at things uh, about business uh, and also about industry that we wouldn't normally get to see. Um, we're very good at coming up with technical solutions in engineering, but we're not very good at actually implementing them in the real world. So this really gets you thinking about how you might actually be able to do something financially as well as um, economically. I think it adds a whole uh, new dimension, definitely. Um, it allows us the opportunity to, to get face to face um, with potential customers and uh, manufacturers. You know, we did a visit to Moreland Plastics um, and we got, you know, a real first hand look at some engineering in practice there. I mean, it's really gratifying actually uh, to see what you're doing uh, come to fruition and to see somebody actually try and the look on their face when, when they're putting it on and they agree and, and there's a connection there that you've actually met a need that they've struggled with for quite a while. It really helped me to actually understand what business is all about a little bit more in terms of where money comes from, how you make money, um, things that can go wrong. Um, and it's helped to sort of break up the final year a little bit more. I have a number of friends in other universities and they haven't really done actual designs, you know, with a scenario like this, like a real life scenario because you meet the clients, you know, you meet people from every angle. So, I would say it's different, it makes it stand out. As part of a degree, I think the course that the students are doing is extremely worthwhile. Um, eventually we all have to work in a business or we own our own businesses. Um, and it's that appreciation of how a business works, the finances that are involved, the products, how you get a product to market. Regardless of what subject you study at university, it is really important to understand how business works in the future. And this, as a course, and a module on a course, sorry, is um, an ideal opportunity for them to, to really realise. They're getting all the, all the education around the costings, seeing what the outside world could offer. They've had to go in, out, out to industry to see how much products cost to manufacture. They're getting all round skills so that people who are, and companies who are looking for, for good quality employees in the future, uh, they're getting all round skills that they can use in, in, in an everyday work, workplace. Being involved in judging an event like this is actually really exciting because you get to see what our sort of future engineers and business people are actually coming up with and they come up with really interesting and exciting products that, I mean, I myself have bought Tran, although I'm not the market they're aiming at, I've gone, actually, I would buy that and it's nice to know that those people are now coming up and building their careers. It's okay doing an academic course, wonderful, but when you come to doing the business orientation side of things, the student that has this module versus the student that doesn't, you know that they have the confidence and 
the ability to be able to think of a solution and take that to market so that they know it's more about building a prototype and saying this is where it will be sold. They know how much it will cost, they know, they know the inner workings of a business. Every year we hear back from students, from graduates, from alumni who tell us this module changed their life. It didn't change their life because they came and became aware of their capacity to operate with social responsibility. They realised that their calling in engineering was to be entrepreneurial. And so there are now dozens of entrepreneurial engineers out there operating who came upon that decision because they've done this module in the last 10 years.